As world leaders from the world's 20 biggest economies begin arriving in China for the latest G20 summit, China has made a significant announcement regarding global warming. State media says its parliament has voted to formally join the Paris Agreement on climate change. With the world's biggest polluter joining the pact, the deal takes a significant step towards coming into effect. Bill Bertels has more from Hangzhou. Well, plenty of security and a city almost in virtual lockdown will greet Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull when he arrives here in Hangzhou for the G20 leaders meeting early tomorrow morning. And already there's been substantial progress on a key issue with China's government announcing that it will ratify the Paris Climate Accord. This was the deal thrashed out eight months ago, which saw nations commit to capping global temperature rises to below 2% of pre-industrial levels if possible. Now, the US President Barack Obama, he's arrived in Hangzhou and he too is very supportive of working with China on this initiative. But as for the G20 agenda itself, the focus is firmly on the global economy and China is very keen to stake its claim as the driving force of global growth. That's despite a major economic slowdown here. As for Prime Minister Turnbull, he has also said that he's keen to work with other countries on finding ways to crack down on global tax evasion. So plenty to discuss as the leaders arrive here in Hangzhou for the G20.